the Grand Canyon section of the Colorado River contains some of the most challenging and exciting whitewater rapids in the world. Geologist John Wesley Powell was one of the earliest and most celebrated river runners. He was only 35 years old when he launched his first expedition along the Colorado River in 1869. In the early 1900s, Nathan Galloway revolutionized early river running by piloting a lightweight, flat-bottomed boat down the river. By the 1950s, changes in boat technology and design made commercial river trips more common. River running would grow into a national sport favored by tourists from New York to Los Angeles. A trip through the canyon today takes about two weeks to complete. Marble Gorge is one of the first landmarks rafters see along the river and marks the beginning of the Grand Canyon. Seven miles along the route, multiple large rocks constrict the channel and form powerful hydraulics at Hans Rapids. Rafters can deal with some extremely challenging rapids along the route. Soap Creek Rapids is a moderately challenging rapid that is surrounded by soapstone beaches making it a popular camping site. About 94 miles along the route is one of the more difficult rapids, Lower Granite, which has a strong push of hydraulics to the right-hand wall of the river. Hermit Rapid has perhaps the strongest hydraulics and biggest waves in the canyon. Located 95 miles along the route, some rafters elect to tackle the route with motorized rafts to deal with the strong waters. Havasu Canyon features a beautiful turquoise watered side canyon. Some rafting enthusiasts tackle the rapids in replicas of dories from the 1950s. Many trips end at Diamond Creek, an easy exit point on the river. Rafters are exhilarated after taming the same river John Wesley Powell did 150 years ago.